Jesteśmy w biurze Tykmil w Limasol. Jest tutaj z nami Karla Nemr, globalna dyrektor rozwoju biznesu. Hello Karla. Hi. I'm How are you doing? I'm alright. Yourself? Uh, thank you for joining us and, and giving us this interview. Uh, I wanted to ask you um, some questions about Tickmill and also uh, European trading industry as you are a person in the center of, of events actually. Mm -hmm. And I, I wanted to ask, Tickmill is growing, is doing extremely well. It's growing, you know, um, very big over the last couple of years. Could you, could you tell us a bit more about what's behind this success? Okay, besides, uh, before, besides mentioning, of course, uh, uh, that we have a very um, a great, awesome team uh, in Tickmill, uh, we also have a very uh, competitive products. And uh, so we're trying uh, to look into uh, what the market uh, is in need and what the traders are looking for. So I believe that uh, the success behind Tickmill is uh, uh, is the product that we're offering and the uh, approach and direction that we're moving uh, with. So, uh, and the approach nowadays uh, for Tickmill and the vision that we want to achieve is to, uh, as our slogan say, we want traders to succeed. So we're trying to provide education uh, for our clients and traders. So uh, the trader before he gets into the market, if he's a beginner, he's totally aware of the risk that is behind uh, the trading. So uh, what we're trying to do is to, to uh, expand the awareness of the risk involved in this uh, industry, plus also for the uh, advanced uh, traders, what are the right tools for them to use in order to have a better strategy for trading. What markets are most robust from, from your perspective, from Tickmill's perspective? Yes, uh, in my point of view, there is no market that uh, I can maybe give you that is the most strong uh, nowadays. I believe every market has the chance uh, and the way to approach uh, for it in order to, uh, uh, to provide the services and, uh, and the tools uh, there. So every market we try to expand, I think we have a different way of approach. So uh, we, uh, I mean, I cannot say Asia is better than Europe because we have in Europe a lot of sophisticated traders that uh, they take uh, the business really seriously and they try to study and they get, uh, uh, they are involved in this business for many years. So I don't feel like I will give the, maybe the chance or maybe the right for me to say that Asia is better market than Europe or Europe is better market than Asia. So every market has its own uh, way of, uh, of being, you know, uh, strong and, uh, and the way that, you know, you can approach it is totally different. Okay. Is Poland among those markets uh, that has potential to be strong or maybe it's already strong in your view? Uh, it is already, it has been always, uh, even though we got some, uh, a lot of challenges there because uh, of the regulations uh, in Poland and even in ESMA because it's part of uh, Europe, you know. So, uh, but I think um, Poland is as strong as all the other European countries and uh, we witnessed a lot from uh, our uh, traders. Uh, we have a lot of uh, loyal traders that started with us for a long time and still trade with us. And they are always trying to uh, um, follow uh, a lot of uh, new strategies. Uh, and we can consider uh, most Polish clients are uh, professional clients. So you mentioned ESMA, and we are now in the situation after ESMA's rules from, from last year, restricting um, some, some aggressive trading on, on Forex and CFDs. And, but the industry and um, the broker to trader relation is still not perfect, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what is currently a, the key problem that, that brokers have and, and the brokers struggle with? Um, first of all, let me maybe uh, just mention something about ESMA. ESMA, in my point of view, did not. Uh, it's not negative for the brokers nor for the clients because when they had ESMA uh, implemented, it was uh, for the sake of uh, basically um, protecting the client's right. So when ESMA came, a lot of brokers, uh, they struggled uh, to maybe 
uh, continue the business relationship with some clients. But I believe uh, if we uh, give the right direction for clients how to benefit from those rules that they applied uh, within ESMA, uh, they should understand that it's going to protect them. It's not for their, uh, it's for their good basically. And uh, a lot of uh, companies also are uh, brokers that they opened uh, within the time of the ESMA regulations. They could not uh, survive, unfortunately, uh, not because they are not good enough, but they did not expect expect to be, uh, you know, the ESMA that they would have so strict uh, regulation. So a lot of clients couldn't convert to professional and they preferred to go somewhere else. But I believe ESMA is there uh, for a good reason, not bad. Uh, in terms of your other questions... Um, yes, about problems that brokers have. Yes. The current time, I think um, it's not maybe a problem, but I would address it more like the wrong tool uh, that they uh, use in order to attack clients. For example, I would give you brokers that they give high bonus or they try to provide the clients uh, with a big amount of money in order for them to invest. So, but there is a missing uh, gap here, and the gap would be you need to address it really well. I mean, uh, this market is also risky as well as all other business that you started up. So every business, uh, startup business is, uh, is risky as well. So uh, for us uh, in Tikmil, we try to always uh, expand the awareness about the education. It's very important for clients to know. If he's a beginner client, he has the right to understand the risk involved in this uh, uh, business before he proceeds. Uh, in order to also for us to maintain and retain our uh, technical and uh, sorry, our, our professional clients and uh, advanced clients, so we try to give them always the best and better tool. And we try also to uh, find the best products and uh, additional uh, maybe tools that those uh, professional clients will use within their strategies and on their platform. So when you see those clients, uh, they are um, happy trading and trying to perform better, they will trust more the brokers and they will be more loyal to you rather than just getting the bonus uh, invest uh, your money, lose the bonus and your money, and then they will just uh, disappear. So, is this um, the direction that that um, Tick Mill would avoid with, with bonuses? Yes, uh, yes. Is this the direction that yeah. you would go with education? Yeah, I would uh, definitely not uh, go with bonuses. Maybe uh, sometimes clients they would like to have this to just motivate them to start but I prefer the client should look into more uh, serious uh, brokers that they want them to learn and to understand how they trade before they get involved in this business so when they see there's a broker that care about their clients they don't want them to just uh, get involved and then disappear after a while when they uh, you know experience loss and it will be disappointing for them so they will not really like to uh, continue their business relationship with a broker. So I think education is very essential tool, actually. And how do you see the current situation in in European Union with uh, all all those brokers with the consolidation and and with those ESMA rules? Uh, do you think the European Union's industry, trading industry, can be attractive again, can be flourishing again? I think yes. I think uh, it is actually really positive for them to... Uh, uh, maybe it will be uh, a chance now for all professional traders to come out and uh, uh, look also for serious brokers uh, to offer serious products. So they will not have a lot of uh, scammers you know, in Europe, clients will feel more safe uh, investing his fund and trading. So I think uh, it is it is actually positive for the Europe market. It's not a bad thing. And uh, there is also another way that other brokers now they are trying to look uh, for different type of products, uh, not only CFDs, but they can look into more also like uh, stocks, shares, indices. Uh, you know, different type of products that they can. Uh, offer to clients more serious uh, as well traders they will be more uh, in, like interested to uh, I mean to trade with those brokers